a lot of people in China are taking a look at uh, Trump's ambitious. He announced the, the ambitious plan of a one trillion dollar infrastructure plan. Um, do you think there are any investment opportunities for a Chinese company in it? Sure. Uh, we need to rebuild our infrastructure. It's very, it's very run down. And uh, we should invite any foreign country that wants to invest in infrastructure in the United States. Absolutely. But right now, I think the biggest hurdle is if it can go through the Congress. Well, I don't think that would be a problem. Uh, also, you know, many U.S. companies have lots of money offshore. Uh, there's probably about $3 trillion dollars offshore. We should bring that money back at a lower tax rate and that money should be used for infrastructure. To get a lower tax rate, that would be required to do that. Even that amount of money won't be enough. So we need some foreign investors uh, uh, along with the U.S. With all the rhetoric in the air, um, what do you expect Chinese investment to the U.S. during Trump's administration. We saw Greenland investment from China skyrocket in, uh, to the U.S. in recent years. I think if Chinese uh, investors want to invest in the United States, they'll have the opportunity to do so. I don't think there'll be any prohibition against Chinese investments coming to the United States. I do think it's important, however, that American companies have the right to invest in China the same way. It can't be one-sided. Um, after all, you got uh, U.S. is the largest economy in the world, and China is number two. They're both very strong countries. They don't have, don't, they don't need protection devices to prohibit investment.